Hey everyone, Miss Wilkins here. I'm going to do the viola D major two and three octave scales. This is your explanation video, okay, for both scales. All right, so I now two octaves on the viola is super simple. You can play it all in first position, but I think that's really boring. It doesn't really teach you what you need to learn because the violins are going to be shifting for their two octave scale. So we're, we've added a shift. Go ahead and check out your finger chart. And I'm just going to walk you through it as I play, and hopefully I won't mess up as I'm talking. But we're going to start on the, the, this, the C string, first finger on D. We're going to play a homie two high three on both those bottom strings like this. Play open here. I like to use open string going up and fourth finger coming down. So that's why I play the open. So from the D string, we're going to shift when we get to G, which is going to be our old third finger in first position, but we're going to play first finger to go into third position like this. So shift here. Now you want to make sure that you've matching, you're matching your G string. You're also making sure that you've not left your thumb behind. You take that with you. I like the thumb and the first finger to be right across from each other. And we're gonna play a homie two high four pattern from here. So really high four, and then we're gonna slide our first finger sideways to finish the scale. Coming down, I'm gonna set my fingers on the D string before I play. Sure. Now I'm going to play fourth finger and play a high C sharp. Set my fingers. Okay, so that's two octaves. Now let's talk about three octaves. Uh, same thing, we're going to shift in the exact same place. Um, it, so the scale is going to be exactly the same until we get to the A string. We're going to, instead of, end, instead of ending on that first finger, we're going to keep going. So we're going to go up in whole steps and half steps, uh, and I'll just walk you through it. So let me get up there. Starting on D, uh, C string, D. Sorry. Open. We're going to go one, two, three, and then shift. Shift. One, two, three. Four. And another four. We're going to repeat this note. Now, this is the tricky shift. We've got to come down to third position. I'm going to, you can practice finding finding that D and then adding your fingers. All right, so that's the tricky shift. And I might practice. Now, if you look on your finger chart, we're only really shifting a half step, but it feels weird because now I have to reinvent my whole hand frame. So, this note and that note is super close. From here, we're good. I like fourth finger coming down. Okay, so that shift uh, from uh, fifth position here coming down is the one, the tricky one you want to be careful of. Um, also, too, if you look, F sharp, one, two, and three lands on my purfling. So if I follow that black line around my instrument, that's where my third finger is going to land. And then G is going to be right in front of that. So if I look down here, I'm just right in front of the purfling. Okay? So that is the, you can actually see that. I would practice.
practice that shift. That's really the hardest part in this scale. All right, folks, thanks a lot. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.